for nursing education to start a new and rewarding career. Jeff Olson is the president of Nightingale College, and he's here now in this sponsored interview to share how they are helping students learn. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's remind our viewers where and what you do at Nightingale College. Sure. Nightingale College is stationed here out of Salt Lake City. So we're headquartered here, but we operate remotely nationwide. So we have learners all the way from Alaska to Florida, Maine, all the way out to Hawaii, nationwide. You are answering the call to a nursing shortage that we've been hearing for years. Tell us mm -hmm. more about the program and why people turn to you to get their degree and their education. Uh, yeah, so we have, if we look at the nursing shortage broadly, there are tens of thousands of nurses needed over the next several years to provide for health care in this country. It's not isolated to an individual locale either. Nationwide, we have a shortage. And what Nightingale is attempting to do is try to help support individuals who feel the calling to go in and support their families, communities, others who are in the most vulnerable situations to restore them to health, to help those communities to heal, to help individuals heal. And as we continue to work with individuals, we also recognize that many who hear the call also have other lives. They have children, they have work, they have other things that they need to accomplish. And so Nightingale is attempting to provide an opportunity for those who may not have other chances to do a residential program or to be stationed in a particular locale to be able to access nursing education and to further their career. So this is not like a traditional nursing school. This is flexible. You work with the student. Absolutely. So a lot of the didactic instruction happens wherever they are. So they can be in a rural environment out in the middle of the countryside and still get all of their clinical education instruction. Uh, either through some of the tools that we send them or they do a little bit of travel in order to come and do their on-ground supervised field experience. We have those condensed in small little clusters so people can come out for a week, get those done and return back and complete their education. So a week at a time they'll come out and do a quick rotation and then continue from home. What I've heard from learners is that the technology that you provide alongside to supplement what they're learning every day and some of those things you brought here. Yeah, we brought toys to show off. Um, <laughs> what did you bring? <laughs> so there's, there's several different components to this. One is, it's called the Modular Skills Builder, so it comes as a virtual mannequin situation. Uh, within the box there, there are other pads or things that they can do, so we can simulate skin or, or organs or different things that you may be interacting with during your nursing education, intubations and other things that you may need to do that you would traditionally do in those very large, heavy mannequins in a, in a clinical lab. Uh, we send that to their home so that they can do that there. Uh, we also send them uh, Oculus headset. So this is a VR situation. They can engage in virtual clinical client experiences, replicable, repeatable. We can track and monitor how they're performing in those spaces and then provide them a lot of feedback to help and support them mm -hmm. in that. Um, What's inside addition, here? Uh, we also send them a ton of materials and supplies. So as we talk about doing different skills or activities, um, sterile gloves, intubations, masks, bandages, etc. All of that is sent to the learner so we don't have to travel them to us, we send it to them. So learners can spend that time focused when they can fit it in, after children have gone to bed, before they have to go to work, however it works best for them so that they can get the nursing education that's required to continue. Uh, and again, on the screen you can see that they've got some virtual simulation, virtual clients dealing with different situations. Learners log in at home, they put on the Oculus headsets, they can immerse themselves in that clinical experience without ever leaving the home. Jeff, when it comes to technology, it, it seems like nursing is changing at a light speed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a, lot of other, a lot of other labs or, or physical locations will spend millions of dollars building these elaborate facilities to do exactly what we're doing here, sending it to the learner's home. This is much more economical, it's much more flexible, and hopefully much more accessible to individuals who have been traditionally underserved or can't travel to be in those location spaces. I'll say this one last thing. I actually moderated one of your events, and the mm -hmm. people who received the nurses from a Nightingale degree, they raved about you and raved about the education and the people who actually come out after their education. It was phenomenal. Our, our partners love the learners who come out because they're passionate about what they do. They really have dedication to become a nurse. They feel that call and that need to support and su help people and improve their communities. And it shows in the quality of their work and what they are able to do even in a remote setting. Well, Jeff, thank you so much, the president of Nightingale College. And thank you to Nightingale College for this sponsored interview. For more information, we'll put a link on our website. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.